You're watching Horse Capital Television, the official network of the horse capital of the world. The Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association Champion Show is brought to you by Live Oak Stud, Horse Farms Forever, Stonehenge Farm South, Journeyman Stud Cozon and St. Patrick's Day, the National Thoroughbred Racing Association, Showcase Properties of Central Florida, and Russellwood Farm. FTBOA is celebrating 75 years since the first meetings began that formed the organization. And the industry has grown from a dozen farms in the 1950s to more than 1,100 today. And we are now joined by FTBOA President Greg Wheeler. Thanks, Barbara. I am so honored to be here to recognize the hard work and dedication that goes into each horse to achieve these awards, recognizing our 2019 Florida champions. A huge congratulations goes to each and every breeder, owner, trainer, and of course, each horse for achieving success. Now kick back, relax, and enjoy the show. Who will be named the prestigious Florida Breeder of the Year? Stay with us to find out. And now for our first award named after Needles, who was the first Florida bred to win the Kentucky Derby in 1956. The Needles Award was established to honor Florida's breeders who own outstanding small thoroughbred operations. Congratulations to Sally J. Anderson of River Mist Farm, who posted earnings of more than $834,000 with 15 wins, four seconds and 12 thirds. She is represented by Florida bred multiple graded stakes winner, any port in a storm. KP Dreamin was awarded champion two year old filly for 2019. This Florida bred filly by Union Rags was bred by Vesco Racing Stable and sold at the OBS April sale for $170,000. KP Dreamin is owned by Carl Pergola and trained by Jeff Mullins. Chance It was named Florida Bred Champion two-year-old colt, making a huge splash in the Florida Sire Stakes Series. With victories coming at distances ranging from five and one-half furlongs to a mile and one sixteenth. The son of Currency Swap was bred by Bet Usher and is owned by Shooting Star Thoroughbreds, led by Mary Leitner and Lisa Gooden, and is trained by Safi Joseph Jr. The 2019 champion three-year-old colt, Global Access, is a homebred of Live Oak Stud, Live Oak Plantation, and is trained by Michael Trombetta. His season concluded with four stakes wins achieved in three states and two countries and was named Canada's Horse of the Year. Charlotte Weber also raced Global Access. He is the 16th Florida bred champion to wear the distinctive Live Oak Plantation colors. Wildwood's Beauty was named champion three-year-old filly and female sprinter. The filly is by Cantheros, was bred by Philip and Karen Matthews, and is owned by William Steerts and trained by Scott Becker. She was consigned to the 2017 OBS yearling sale, where she was purchased by multiple graded stakes winning owner, William P. Steerts. Starship Jubilee was awarded champion female turf horse and older female, picking up her first grade one victory at the EP Taylor Stakes at Woodbine. Starship Jubilee has won three consecutive Sovereign Awards in Canada. The daughter of Indy Wynn was bred by William Soren, owned by Adam Korndorf's Blue Heaven Farm and trained by Kevin Adard. The leading Florida freshman sire and juvenile sire of the year is Kozan. Kozan is by Distorted Humor and out of Mare Delta Princess by AP Indy. Kozan is the sire of 44 runners and 19 winners with impressive earnings totaling more than $1.2 million. Standing at Brent and Crystal Furnung's Journeyman Stud, Kozan produced three black type stakes winners in 2019. The 2019 Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association Stallion of the Year went to Adios Charlie, the son of Indian Charlie by Northern Fleet Mare, 
Teak Totem is the leading active Florida sire by total progeny earnings of more than $3.7 million. He stands at Marion County's oldest breeding farm, Ocala Stud, and is owned by Ocala Stud and Papasan Stable. He is the sire of graded stakes winner Jean Elizabeth, winner of six black type stakes. In total in 2019, he sired 65 winners and three black type stakes winners. Safi Joseph Jr. was named leading trainer of Florida Breds by earnings and with earnings of over 1.9 million. Safi is also the co-recipient of the leading Florida trainer of Florida Breds by wins. Kathleen O'Connell named leading trainer of Florida Breds by Black Type States winners with six. This trainer is also the co-recipient of the leading Florida trainer of Florida Breds by wins. The award is her 12th trainer award. Bill and Lynn Rainbow of the Acorn were awarded the Joseph M. O'Farrell Memorial Award. Presented annually to honor the original consigner of the best Florida bred racehorse offered at public auction in Florida. O'Farrell was a pioneer in establishing public thoroughbred auctions in Florida. The Acorn was the original consigner of Starship Jubilee. The mayor was consigned at the 2014 OBS yearling sale. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. The Florida Breeder of the Year and Owner of the Year is Charlotte Weber's Live Oak Stud, Live Oak Plantation. Last year, Charlotte Weber's racing entity generated more than $2.6 million in earnings. Florida champion Global Access led the way, winning three graded stakes and $337,000. His half-brother, March to the Arch, chipped in two stakes wins in over $300,000. Other major contributors carrying the Live Oak colors were Grade 2 winner Super Tap It and Win 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 runner-up in the Bluegrass Stakes. Live Oak Stud also recorded seven black type stakes winners and over $2.8 million in earnings. This is the third Florida Breeder of the Year award for Live Oak Stud and Live Oak Plantations, fourth for leading owner by Florida Bread Earnings. Her nationally prominent 4,500 acre farm, which was founded in 1968 and has produced decades of champions. Both of Mrs. Weber's thoroughbred operations continue to be major forces in both Florida and North America. It's always an honor, but it's particularly a big honor for me because I'm a small breeder. I'm not a big commercial breeder, and therefore every step is a huge step in, on my behalf. And it, it shows teamwork, it shows what Florida is about. I'm just very proud to represent Florida. Any stakes win is monumental. Um, you can just never take them for granted. You're dealing with the unknown when you're dealing with an athlete. And I mean that from human athletes to equine athletes. So it's very special. And when they can repeat the performance over and over again, it makes it more special. I hope you enjoyed our show. We look forward to seeing you in person next year to celebrate the 2020 champions. And now let's go back to the studio. Greg, thank you, and congratulations to all award winners and their connections. We are excited for the future for all Florida owners, breeders, and great horses. From our Horse Capital TV studios in Ocala, Marion County, the horse capital of the world. Thanks for watching. Barbara Dawson's wardrobe provided by Dillard's, Market Street at Heathbrook, Ocala. Jewelry provided by Gossenson Jewelers, downtown Ocala. And now, a Florida Thoroughbred History Moment. Winning the Kentucky Derby and Preakness in 1997, Florida Bred Silver Charm showcased just some of the talent coming out of the Ocala Breeder Sales and Florida. Silver Charm was trained by the McCathan brothers and Bob Baffert, who were only rising stars back then. The Cray gained international acclaim, winning the Dubai World Cup, and later joined the stallion ranks in Japan. The affable and photogenic horse even inspired newspaper columnist Michael Flohan to build the old friend's retirement home for Silver Charm to spend out his days. This has been a Florida Thoroughbred History Moment.